I've already went back in my house five times for things I forgot, so um, my theory is if I start driving away, um, I'll just have to get over it if I remember more stuff. Welcome to M. Laroe on the Road, new series brought to you by Sid's View. I am involved in all sorts of media um, in the short track racing realm, and I work at Stafford Speedway. And I also um, am the owner of Enlero Photo, which is photography, racing photography, and I give away some money to a random person once a year. I am on my way to New Smyrna Speedway for Speed Weeks because or for the World Series anyways, because um, if you're anybody, you're there. Like, anybody who is anybody in racing is there. I'm on my way to Salem right now to pick up my boyfriend, Alexander Pearl. Um, if you haven't heard of him, he is an SK Light field filler at Stafford. Yeah, I'll probably sleep the whole time. Uh, sleep and fart and eat. That's fine, because I'm used to going on trips alone so you know it'll be nice and fresh for me to have someone to talk to or yell at or you know anything to keep me awake that and monster this is not sponsored by monster energy but monster let me know hit me up because I give a lot of money to your company I really wonder if these other cars are seeing my my lighting and my face when they drive by and they think I'm crazy. That's fine. I need to get gas. I need to get gas because I have... Hold on, let me check. I have 36 miles to empty. Hope that gets me to Salem eh, because I'm not stopping before I get there. Welcome back. Um, it is currently 8.55 p.m. and we are departing from Salem. I picked up my um, partner in crime road trip buddy, and we are leaving. You can say hi, like, once. Hi. Okay. And never again. I will check back in when I open my first can of Monster, which will probably be around the New York-Connecticut border. As the Monster erupts spills all over me. We're about to drive by the New York airport. People in racing are always like, hey Nicole, why don't why don't you just fly to these races? You're you're kind of a dummy. You know you can fly. Like you can not drive 18 hours. You can definitely get on a plane and fly there. The secret that I've never told anybody, um, the reason why I prefer to drive. The only reason that I prefer to drive over fly um, is because if I flew I would not be able to stop at Bojangles. Just kidding. No way I would be getting on a plane. Also, that car just drove, that car just drove right into the, like, snowbank on the side of the highway. I'm dead. Huh. That's a, that's one way to spice up your evening, for sure. the fast mart in Stafford, Virginia. It's 3.25 in the morning. It's a Valero. Um, basically, I was on 95 and I waited for the best 
option and I kept looking at the signs and I was holding out for a better option until I didn't have any miles left so I had to stop and now we had to get off go through this like deserted town and of course the place isn't even open so we can't go pee pees and <laughs> it's just a mess not going well but at least we have gas now so can you hold your pee pees for I, like I think I a little can. bit more can you okay. okay I don't have to pee because I'm good at this because you don't drink I, water no I don't drink water not on road trips okay because I'm efficient obviously Good morning, it is 6 a.m. now, and we are at the Sheets in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. I am so tired. So, he's gonna drive after, we're, we're gonna top off on gas, and then he's gonna drive, we're gonna go to PP's, and then I'll probably take back over in like an hour or so. I just need a little nappy. I'll try to, anyways. I see it. I see it too. Oh, bad. Look at me know where I was going. You had not a clue where you were going. Wow. This is the best day of my life. Is it? I hope they serve like lunch at eight, <laughs> at eight in the morning and not just breakfast because I don't want their breakfast food. That's probably not the case, Meh. but. We're at the Bojangles in Dillon, South Carolina. This is a public restroom, so someone might walk in on me. This is the part where I freshen up. So I'm gonna try to wash my face and brush my teeth in this bathroom. And hope no one walks in because that would be really awkward.
Definitely could have brushed longer, but I'm scared. There's no paper towels in here. So I'm just gonna put my wet toothbrush back in my pocket. This is disgusting. Don't take after me. And I'm gonna wash my face. I am homeless. I'm literally so homeless. Homeless traits. It's cold. It's so cold. This is a bad idea, now that I think about it. Because I have no way to dry my face. I guess my t-shirt. <laughs> it's just disgusting. This is disgusting. Okay. That's probably good enough, right? No, because I have soap in my hair. The whole sink is covered in water. Everything is covered in water now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my t-shirt and we're gonna wipe this. Well, better now. This is disgusting. I really cannot wait to take a shower. There's a booger. Oh, lovely. We love that. Um, yeah. I look like a mess. Maybe if I take my hair down, it'll hide it. Poor Alexander is just waiting out there for me to do my entire skincare routine and basically take a shower in the sink. And come out looking like a drum rat. Look, you can't even tell that. Mm, I just washed my face in the sink. Okay, well bye, I'm gonna go eat now. Um, this is just me doing the rest of my face care routine in the Bojangles parking lot. I'm afraid that I'm going to start speaking in a southern accent because I mimic people, um, not on purpose, and I'm going to embarrass myself pretty soon because it's been hard to control. How is your Bojangles experience, your first one ever? Very good, man. Okay. I really like it. You're always right. Do you really have to call me babe on the series? That's like PDA. No, babe. Oh my god. Well, I'm just happy I get to drive now. You give me anxiety. Mm, why? My driving's good. Okay, ask the turn three wall at Stafford how good your driving is. Yeah, I'm glad I slept through most of your, your two hours of driving.
It smells already. It smells. I liked it better when you were sleeping. We are still in South Carolina. I am in my second class of the day. Struggling to pay attention. Um, but guess who's sleeping again? Georgia. So. Driver attention level low. Time for a break. Let me drive. Put me, put me in. No. Special topics on manatees. I hope we see manatees. There's no manatees in Florida. Yes, there is. If there's manatees in Florida, there's kangaroos in South Carolina. Good morning. Uh, it's not morning anymore. No, it feels like the never-ending morning. It is afternoon. It is 1 p.m. Um, we're in Woodbridge, Georgia. At a Chevron. The Chevron is caca. Mm -hmm. But I waited again until the last second to get gas, so it was the only option. And um, the bathrooms were very not sanitary. And I'm still in class. And we're doing meditation. So I had to meditate in the stall of the Chevron while I was doing peepees. So that was interesting. How far are we? We're like two hours out. Like two and a half, yeah. Like two. And then we get to check into our condo after three, so that'll be perfect. We are one hour out. Finally, it's taking forever. Hey, when you hit Florida, I'm you still have like three hours. It sucks. It seems we have reached Daytona Beach. Or at least that's what the grass says over there. Here. Yep, looks cool. There's a street right there, and then it's this one. So the park by the white gate. Okay. We have arrived at our condo. Um, looking a little rough here, especially me, after driving for that long. Um, but yeah, let me show you around a little bit. So here's our bathroom. Yay, lovely. We love a white bathroom. Um, most importantly, the bedroom uh, and blanky. Really big bed. Some art. And then the most important part is going to be the balcony with this view but we have a nice a nice living room with more art and then these windows that have more beach on the outside of them that's really all that we care about and it's a push not a pull we can go out this gate that's on the other side of that staircase and walk on the beach. My luggage boy somewhere in the distance grabbing luggage or maybe stalling. Doesn't seem to be doing much. No, I'm lying. I'm being mean. He definitely is carrying quite a few items. Let's spy on Alexander. He struggles with the gate. <laughs> it is very nice out here. It's like 67 or something. Closes it again. What the f is he doing? Drops the keys. I have not a clue what he is doing. Can you stop fooling around? What are you doing? Are you struggling? Okay, well I'm not gonna help. Look at you go. Aw, so good to me. 
Watch him fall down. I'm trying to carry on. Those bags are so heavy. Heavy bags. I don't know how he's gonna get them up the stairs. Beats me. Let's go bother him. Hi. How are you doing? Tired. It's not that heavy. <sighs> I just have a bunch of shit in my hands. It sounds like a you problem. This is fun for me. You really got to shit that bad? You're walking like that? I'll take over from here. No problem. Sammy Anderson says, you should totally call it and Leroux on the go. Can't wait to see you. See, it, we fumbled the bag pretty hard there. That's, that's a good one. We didn't even, that did not come across any of our brainstorming for the name of this series. So, but I feel like we're too committed at this point to change the name. Good one, Sammy. You got us there. That is a good one, and it rhymes.